ticks don't have the greatest reputation. They are, after all, parasites that pose a danger to people and animals. But the very thing we despise them for is also what makes them useful to Professor Richard Payne. What ticks do amazingly well is feed on blood for long periods of time. That's because their saliva has powerful blood thinning molecules. Molecules that could help treat conditions such as strokes. That's where Professor Payne comes in. He's a chemical biologist who uncovers the functions of proteins and peptides made by plants and animals and then improves them for our use. Nature has been evolving their molecular arsenal probably over billions of years. So they've had a lot of time to, you know, hone the bioactivity and the selectivity of these molecules. And so that's a great starting point because we don't have to do all that legwork. We can take that and then use some of the chemical tools that we now have to sort of put on aftermarket modifications to make those molecules even better than what nature makes in the first place. In the case of ticks, it's not just their blood thinning prowess that interests Professor Payne. His team has also been able to synthetically produce the anti-inflammatory proteins found in their saliva. So a tick can be sitting on your back and you won't necessarily know it's there. And the reason is, is it's producing really potent uh, immune modulatory molecules that can suppress your immune system to stop you from basically itching and scratching the, the tick off. So can those molecules enhance treatments for symptoms caused by lung inflammation in respiratory illnesses like COVID-19? That's an example of the questions being asked within the University of Sydney node of the ARC Centre of Excellence for Innovations in Peptide and Protein Science, where Professor Payne is Deputy Director. The team studies everything from venomous species to native plants and Australian marsupials. And we're particularly interested in molecules that are produced in the pouch of these animals that can have either anti-infective activity, so antibacterial activity to prevent the young from getting sick, but also immune modulatory activity. Professor Payne's election as a Fellow of the Australian Academy of Science is recognition of his pioneering work in developing powerful technologies to modify peptides and proteins for applications in biology and medicine. He says he's particularly proud of his role in mentoring the Fellows of Tomorrow. Mentoring is actually my favourite part of the job. I now have a large number of uh, alumni that are working both in an industry, in the pharmaceutical industry, but also running their own labs in, in universities all around the world. And I think that's just massively rewarding.